Okay, let's get started. So, Miss Guys, this was you, but if you're not prepared, I can totally get it. I'm here. We're here. We made it. Let's reboot. Okay, hi. Welcome back. Here we are, webinar number two. Happy to see everybody again. Um, the things that we're reviewing in these webinars are information that you need to do, any steps that you need to take care of, stuff that we know at this time that are confirmed, upcoming events that we have, um, and then our next steps moving forward. So we are in April, everybody. We're getting much closer to the end, and we're super proud of you. So uh, we want to make sure that we review all the information about what's coming up um, and take questions from students. We got a couple of questions after our last webinar, so we made sure to include that information in this webinar. If we don't get to yours today, we will do the same and follow up with any questions that we get after today's event. And as always, our website is a great resource and the link is right here. These slides are actually shared on our website. Um, and so again, and that's where this recording will be posted as well. Um, all right, so let's recap. I did go over this last time, but it's always good to, um, revisit some things that you've already done and answer any questions for those who may have missed this information. So the caps and gowns are actually here. They are physically in room 28. I'm looking right at them. Um, so the deadline has passed to order your cap and gown. Don't worry, we always order extras. So um, when we get down the road in this uh, presentation, I'll tell you when you can pick that up, but the deadline is passed. Uh, senior portraits, I did get a question about um, if you didn't get the email to select your senior portrait for the yearbook, we will select one for you. So there will come a time where Mrs. Chase has to just put the yearbook together and can't wait for you to make your selection any longer. So if you um, don't select a photo for the yearbook, we will select one for you. Uh, if you wanna see if you, if you were expecting that email from now and forever and you didn't get it, their phone number is on here and you can call them and ask them to resend it. Um, you can still order a yearbook. There is no deadline to order a yearbook. Um, we are gonna actually be covering information or not information. We're gonna be covering events in the yearbook all the way through graduation. So you can order your yearbook in the summer. You can order it whenever. The new company that we're going with does not have a deadline. So if you decide in June you want a yearbook, you can always order it and it will be mailed to your house, which is great. Um, you can also in the new yearbook that the new yearbook platform that we're using, you can submit a free senior ad. Um, and there's more information on that in the previous slides on this slideshow. Um, you can find on our website. You can also email Mrs. Chase. Um, and then we have some dates and some other exciting things for you coming up on the next slides. All righty, Ms. Geist. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Um, so things that we know for sure. Um, first of all, we're all excited for you. We miss you. We cannot wait to see you. Um, and we are working on some virtual celebrations in addition to the in-person ones that we're planning as well. Um, we have a senior page just for you on our website. Um, so check it out. It's just for the class of 2021. Um, and we have upcoming celebrations throughout the entire month of May leading up to graduation. Um, we'll go over the in-person events that we have coming up, um, where the guidelines allow. We're trying to get as many students and groups as possible to get their celebrations this year. Before we get to that, you will take your last set of high school finals on Monday, May 24th and Tuesday, May 25th. Final grades are due from teachers by Friday, May 28th. So that lets us know any students who maybe did not pass their classes and need to take summer school or have an alternate route for graduation. Um, but that will be the date that we know everyone's grades and credit status for the end of the year. And in person on June 3rd is graduation for the class of 2021. Yay! Ms. Shembri, there's a question in the chat about how much yearbooks are. I believe yearbooks are $51, 50, 51. It's kind of, a, I don't think it's 50. It's like a weird number, like 51 or 52, but they, um, I think that's how much they are. I can go back at the end of this to the previous slides where Mrs. Chase put that info um, and I can get it for sure. I think it's on there. Good question. Are there any more questions before I move on? Um, yeah, one specific to cheerleaders. Um, hmm around senior night. I know that there's not really a, a team right now, so maybe we can 
take that offline and talk about that. Yeah, whoever that student is, um, if you'd like to send me an email and remind me that I need to address that, um, my email's at the end of this slideshow, but I do want to talk to you offline about that because I we I do want to make sure we address that. So just send me an email. And then, um, oh, the other thing I was just going to mention, we're still getting our final dates approved. So tentatively, that's what we're looking at. They may slightly oh. change, but right now that's what we're going for. So just a heads up, seniors, you you should be available that whole week regardless. So. Okay. More question three, um, leading up to graduation, since I know you're getting there now. Um, if a student did not get their cap and gown, what do they need to do to get one? Um, if you did not order a cap and gown, you still need to come on the day that we are handing out caps and gowns. And I'll talk more about that, what that day is in a little bit. And we will have extras that we can give you. It may not fit you all the way correctly, um, but you'll have one nonetheless. So that's the good news. We always get extras. I promise we will not send you down. I almost said send you down the aisle like it's a wedding, but it's not. I promise we won't send you onto the field without a cap and gown. Um, okay, so speaking of graduation, so um, one of the most important and biggest things with these webinars is talking about graduation. And the reason is that, as I'm sure you all are used to by now, things change all the time. They are constantly changing. That's why this is under things we are figuring out because since the last time I saw you, some things have gotten a little bit uh, more concrete and some things are still, you know, kind of up in the air. So things that have become more concrete, graduation is definitely June 3rd. We are having one ceremony at 5 p.m. with the whole senior class. Um, so I know that was kind of a big question. The only reason this would change is if by June, COVID completely did a 180 and we were back in a space where we couldn't have um, that many people together, then in that case, but I don't see it going that way. And the guidance that we have gotten looks like we could have one ceremony. With that said, and this is something that's up in the air and under things we're figuring out, having the entire class of 300 something students together for one ceremony also means less spectators or audience members. So something that we're still figuring out and that's really based on the guidelines and it's not a Del Mar decision, it's not a CUHSD decision, it's a county guideline, um, it's how many spectators and people we can have in the audience. So um, right now we're in the orange tier. So that's a little bit less um, where it's based on capacity of our space. Um, if we make it to the yellow tier, which I'm hopeful that we will by June, uh, that number goes up significantly. So that's where it's kind of something that I'm still figuring out and I don't want to, um, you know, sound the alarm on what that number is yet because I'm still waiting on that guidance. Regardless, the event will be live streamed. We actually hired a company that um, they're also bringing a jumbotron. It's gonna be like a college graduation where your family from the stands will see you up close like this. Whoa, that's really close. But they'll see you very close crossing the stage from the stands on a jumbotron. And they'll also be live streaming it to um, some of our social media channels and our YouTube. So, um, you know, if your family lives out of state or not in the area, or you have family members who can't make it due to the guidelines and the number of spectators, they can watch it live um, on the computer. Something else new that we're doing that the class of 2021 is the first to get, um, at least since I've been here and I've been here almost 10 years, is um, you'll get to sit wherever you want. You will not have to sit alphabetically. Mr. Lopez is looking at me like, what? Um, you are going to be able to sit and choose your seat if you wanna sit by your friends. Um, that has been a big request the last few years. And so um, I wanna make sure that you guys get something special. I think Mr. Lopez is gonna talk more about this later, but you can decorate your caps um, and he'll go more into the rules about that. And you can wear, any sort of lay or item that you'd like 
Um, if your family gives you something, obviously if you get something from the school, you can wear that. Um, so we'll talk, I'll, I'm sure there's a lot more questions about graduation um, that I'll address at the end here. Another question that came up in the, in the survey was about prom. I know that some schools are hosting what they're calling a prom. Um, I don't know that they're having dancing. Um, nowhere in the guidance that we've seen here at Del Mar is there any um, guidance that allows for students to be closer than six feet, which is usually what happens when you're dancing. Um, with that said, if seniors, if this is something you're interested in, more of like a gathering, a dinner, some type of farewell moment um, that's not really a dance, we can look into that if the guidelines allow. So um, stay tuned for that. But as of right now, the short answer is we are not having a prom um, because the guidelines do not allow us to have dancing. Um, Mr. Lopez, I see a ton of, I see like a big notification, but I can't open the Q&A. So do you want to hit me with some questions? Yeah, uh, question is practice for graduation. And when will people be able to pick up caps and gown? Is there a specific date? Yes, um, I will get, I'm gonna address those when we get to the mark your calendar slide. So I'll, cause there's a ton of dates coming up. Um, other question is, will band be playing at graduation? I don't know for certain if the band will be. Um, we will have either the band or the choir. Um, it will depend on space and how many people we can have, but there will be either a band or choir moment. I just haven't, that's another thing we're figuring out. Um, and something to keep in mind, everybody, is that, um, you know, we haven't had a large gathering of this size in over a year. And so every last person that attends this graduation counts towards our total number. So administrators, staff members who need to work, um, if we bring the band, if we bring the ROTC, all the, those, every single last body counts towards our, our maximum occupancy. So we have to be really um, intentional about who we are inviting to this event um, because it does take away from, you know, other things, whether it's the number of spectators and whatnot. So I will definitely communicate with Mr. B um about the the band and choir situation but there will be some type of of um presence from them there and then the next one um is asking about graduation practice so they which i think you have coming up also right yes awesome um someone's asking about how we're how we're going to be graduating without going in name order um i think about the the thing that you mentioned with students being able to kind of choose where they're sitting yeah, so at practice, what you'll do is you'll come and choose your seat and then you'll fill out a note card with your name, which is what we always have is note cards with our with the students' names. And then um, the guidance counselors, two of them are here, will then collect those by row and um, read them off in the order of the row that you're sitting in. Um, there's a question here that I can answer about diplomas. Um, for students who are in the state of biliteracy, they do get a seal um, that gets put on their high school diploma. Um, so they get the, the medal that comes um, when they're ordered by the district office, and then the seal actually gets put on your, your high school diploma. I never knew that. I never knew that there was actually a seal. Oh. Legit. That's really cool. Any other questions? Um, there's a question about, will we have to wear masks the whole time at graduation? Yes, you will have to wear a mask the entire time. Um, last year, we did allow for students to remove their mask for the moment that they crossed the stage. Um, it has been pretty clear in the guidance that I've read, but I will I will fact check myself um, that students cannot remove their masks at any time unless they're speaking. Um, so there is a chance that yes, you will have to wear your mask the entire time, but I will double check that. And again, that's one of those things that as things change and and evolve, um, it may it may change it may go right up to the last minute that we get guidance on that. But as of right now, I'm going to say yes, you have to wear your mask the whole time. Uh, another question, during graduation, will we be, students be sitting six feet apart? Yes. Yes. 
Students have to sit six feet apart. Another thing I should mention is we did order um, Del Mar graduation masks. They say class of 2021 on them. So we will have masks for you, graduation themed. Um, we also got them last year. They're actually really nice. Um, but yes, everybody needs to be six feet apart. Okay. Um, and there's a question about uh, the two free yearbook pages and the free photo yearbook signing opportunity. I know that Ms. Chase put information about um, those pages in the yearbook in our last webinar. So um, we can bring that up, I guess, at the end, or you can always mm -hmm. read the presentation post on the website for information about the yearbook. Um, yeah, if we have time at the end, I can go backwards in the slides, or you can always email Mrs. Chase as well. Yeah. Another student's asking about the valedictorian, uh, salutatorian. So we have our senior awards night, which we will talk about um, in a couple of slides coming up. And that is where that is announced. Um, so we'll go over that when we get to that event. We just have to Ooh, and then that's the next question. All right, we did it. Yay, should I move on or no? Uh, one more question about uh, who do we know who is gonna be the teacher speaker or how is that working? The teacher speaker is voted on by the senior class and that usually happens during advisory sometime in May. I will open up a Google form um, and I'll give you like a couple days to vote probably from like Wednesday to Friday uh, and then I'll announce it to you guys. But every, you guys vote on it, you get to choose. Okay, awesome. We did Should it. Should I go? Should I move on? Cool. Yeah. Um, another opportunity, opportunity. Wow, that was hard for me to say. Another opportunity for seniors is uh, you may have noticed this last year on our social media channels. We did what's called senior salutes. Um, and this is where you, the seniors, can submit information that will be posted about you so everybody can celebrate you. So for example, um, you can submit pictures of yourself, with your friends, from school, whatever the case may be. You can say what, what your plans are for next year. You can thank people, you can share memory. Um, and then our awesome social media coordinator will create a, basically a little tribute to you that shares the information that you submitted. And these will be posted from May 1st to May 31st on our social media channels and on our website. Um, and just, it's another chance for people to be able to celebrate you from afar and, um, you know, get excited about all the cool things that are happening for you. You can submit as much or as little as you'd like. Um, and it's just another fun way to honor our seniors. So if you are curious about what those look like, they are um, on our Instagram from last year at Del Mar Dons. You can kind of scroll back and see the ones from last year. Um, but they're a really cool idea. You don't have to, it's just an opportunity that they're due April 30th. All right, Ms. Geis, this is you. Wow, look at all these dates. There's a lot of things happening. Um, we reviewed a lot of these last uh, time that we had our webinar, but we wanna do a little bit more detail on a couple of items. The 12 week grading period ends this Friday. So after this Friday, you have six more weeks to go. Um, so counselors, we've been tracking all of our seniors graduation status. If you have been at risk of earning a D or an F in a course that is required for you to graduate, letters are coming home to you and your parents um, with reviewing information about going to teacher office hours. If you are in credit recovery, if there's anything that you are working on this semester, we're coming up on the 12 week grading period. You have six weeks left in the school year um, for those grades before you take your finals and final grades post. Um, homecoming week is coming up this month in April, the 26th through the 30th. Ms. Shembri is going to go over that in a minute. Um, the senior survey will be distributed to students um, during advisory or teacher outreach on May 5th. The senior survey is definitely um, helpful for us as a, as a school to know where our students are going after high school and ask some questions about their plans, but it's also an opportunity for you to let us know if you need your transcript sent somewhere. So for students who are going to colleges after high school, they require a final transcript that includes your final grades from your second semester of your senior year. For a lot of schools, that deadline is July 15th. So we ask students in the senior survey where they want their transcript to be sent so that our registrar can make sure to send those out by the deadline at the end of the school year. Um, our next webinar is coming up on May 19th. And then as we mentioned, our senior finals are May 24th and 25th. If you are taking a night school course at CASE, Campbell Adult and Community Education, the last day of class, where you need to be finished with all of your assignments, all of your exams is May 27th. So it's right before our deadline to get final grades. 
Um, senior checkout and cap and gown distribution are on Friday, May 28th. Um, graduation practice, if we are allowed to hold it, is going to be June 1st and 2nd before the big day on June 3rd. Um, we have a couple of questions. One is about the links for the first webinar and this one, um, sending it out to parents. So we do have the link um, that's on our school website. So we can definitely message that out. We can ask Mr. Lopez to put it out in the newsletter this week. Um, but that link will always have the recordings. It will always have the presentation and any updates that we make. Another student is asking where we get our yearbooks. The yearbooks are mailed home. So the new company that we're using uh, sends them home to you. And the good news is that um, we had to make a selection if it if our school wanted that option and we chose yes. So everybody gets their yearbook sent home. No yearbooks are coming to school. So no, no yearbook pickup, nothing like that. You'll all get it in the mail. Excellent. Um, a student is asking how we access the senior survey. The senior survey is posted in, will be posted in your Naviance account. Um, so there'll be information given out during teacher outreach for students of how to access the senior survey to make sure that they complete it before checkout. Um, someone's asking about homecoming week, which I know Ms. Schember, you're gonna talk about in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, we're also, also asking about what time graduation practice will be. I'm not sure if that. I don't know quite yet. Um, I, it depends on when all of our chairs and everything get delivered. So I'm still getting those details, but it will be sometime in the morning. I think usually we do it around like, we try to do it early before it gets really hot. Um, it just, the first one will depend on when our chairs get delivered. So um, I will be in touch with you guys as I get that, but it will be in the morning sometime. Okay. A couple more questions about yearbooks. Um, so if we have time at the end, we can go back to it. Otherwise information about how to buy them, when they're going to be sent um, and how to pay for them is also posted from Ms. Chase in this presentation that we're going over. Um, mm -hmm. Other students asking when Senior Awards Night is, that's coming up in our in-person events section. So I think we're good to... Cool. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lopez? Hi, everybody. Um, I just have two quick things I'm going to mention. Um, the first, obviously, for graduation, you guys will be able to decorate your caps again and wear your graduation regalia. So again, a lot of you have things that you have passed down from generations or you have the lace or things like that. That's completely fine. Please note though that it must be school appropriate. Um, if it is not, you will be told that you can't bring it out or that you won't be able to participate in graduation. So I just wanna stress that and if you're not sure, 99.9% .9 has been fine and okay. Um, I can think of one instance where we had to have someone remove, not be able to bring something out. So if you have questions or you're not sure, check with Ms. Shembri. But again, most things are fine. Um, there's very few things that are, but it can't be something like negative to another culture or something like that. Those would be things that are um, disrespectful to anybody or a person or anything like that, those would be things that are inappropriate. Um, other than that, um, we had people last year who um, protested black, uh, with the Black Lives Matter movement. Those are all things that are okay and accept acceptable. It's just anything that's like anti something. Um, so we just wanna be very cautious of that. And then if you have questions, you could send us your photos or talk to us about it and we'll give you some feedback. And then lastly, graduation is a big event um, and we don't want you to ruin it for yourself, for your family or others. So I just wanna like stress the importance of you are our students for these next six weeks. I mean, you're always gonna be our students, but specifically you're gonna be under our care for these next six weeks. Do not do anything that may jeopardize your graduation. And I really wanna stress that because I have been at a school where students lost their opportunity to graduate um, a few days before graduation. And so they weren't allowed to participate in the graduation ceremony. So that was a while back. And luckily I haven't, you know, all of you are very mature and not going to have any issues, but remember school rules do apply. Um, I don't wanna have anything happen where, you know, someone decides they wanna do something that they think is funny 
and then they end up getting in trouble for it. And then because of that, they lose their opportunity to walk at graduation. So it has happened before. I don't want it to happen again. So I just want to like be very, very clear. Do not do anything that is going to jeopardize your graduation from here until um, after you walk across that stage and you have left the premises. Um, that's the biggest thing I want to really stress. Those, that's all I got. Yay. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. So homecoming event, uh, homecoming week is, starts April 26th. Seniors specifically, you will have a senior sunrise. Again, this is typically something we do in the fall for the first day of school. All seniors come to the parking lot and we go down to the stadium and watch the sunrise together. Um, because a lot of you obviously haven't been on campus, uh, we're moving this to kick off our homecoming week. And this will also be the beginning of phase four where some uh, seniors may actually be taking classes on campus. So um, for some of you, it will be like your first day at school. Um, so you can join us for that. We do need you to RSVP. So um, ASB will be putting together an RSV RSVP, wow, Ms. Shembri, for this event. So we know that you're coming. Um, we will be having a homecoming parade. I don't know that this time is all the way gonna be at two o'clock, but April 28th, that Wednesday, we will be having a reverse parade where you can drive through and see the homecoming court, the drum line, all kinds of groups on campus. Um, we'll send more information out about that soon. And then to end our homecoming week, we will have our coronation. So we'll figure out who our homecoming royalty is um, and a movie night just for seniors. Again, you need to RSVP to this event um april 30th at 6 p.m in the bowl we will also live stream the coronation so that those who cannot make it can view it um they're all free but you will need to rsvp and um we will get you more information about these events coming up soon all righty is this me or you miss guys can't remember it's time to celebrate everybody in person Holler. safely um, so we've got senior celebration events that are planned in person. Um, a couple that are coming up. Uh, the IB celebration is scheduled for May 12th for IB diploma students um, to receive their cords. They're going to be doing their cast and art celebration. Um, senior AVID students will be receiving their stoles on May 13th at their senior AVID celebration event. Um, the celebration of the arts with Mr. Burkhead on May 20th. Senior awards night on May 25th. And remember, senior checkout on May 28th. Um, this is important for all students. You will not be able to get your graduation tickets until you turn your Chromebook in, all your school materials, and complete the checkout process. Um, I'll go over the asterisk at the bottom. These events that we have here are invite only. Um, we are only limited to you know, being able to recognize certain numbers of students and groups. And so we have to limit it to students who are, for example, in seniors and AVID. We would love to have everybody come to these events, um, but unfortunately due to the safety guidelines, we're just not allowed to do it quite the same this year. Um, so if you are being invited to those events, you will receive an invitation from um, the program's advisor, letting you know um, the process for checking in for the event, um, any health screening that you need to do and how to participate. Um, if you would like to order your senior lawn sign, Ms. Sherman, do you wanna talk about this part? Because it's awesome. Yeah, so Senior lawn signs are free and everybody gets one. The PTSA has graciously donated um, senior lawn signs that say like Delmar graduate for every uh, every senior who wants one. This link here is uh, for students who they left a space for your name. So they will be printing um, these really cute labels with your name if you want your name on it. It's not required. You don't have to have your name on it. If you want your name on your lawn sign and you want us to know um, what you go by and what name you'd like on your lawn sign, fill out this uh, link here by April 30th so that the PTSA can print your label. And when, we, when you come to pick it up, we can put it on your sign. If you don't fill this out or you indicate, no, I don't want my name on the sign, then you're just getting a blank sign. Um, the day that you come to pick these up, which I still haven't figured out what day that's gonna be yet, but the day that you come pick them up, if we don't have a label for you, uh, you're getting a blank sign, which is still exciting. But if you want your name on it, you need to fill out this link by April 30th. 
Okay, a couple of questions I just want to go over um, before we get to our awesome high five. Um, students asking when they can pick up their cap and gown, May 28th is senior checkout, which is where you will turn in all of your school materials and you'll be able to pick up your cap and gown. Um, senior awards night um, is where we announce our valedictorian and salutatorian. We have a couple other of our like district-wide um, awards that we give out to students, our school-wide awards. Um, and so that's the one that we do every year for senior school-wide. Um, most of the celebrations um, are happening in the evening, either 6.30 or 7 p.m., depending on the event. When you get your invitation, whether that's through email or through a mail invitation, depending on what the advisor chooses to do, it will tell you what time the event starts, any check-in process that you need to follow uh, when you come onto campus. Uh, student, another student's asking about how many graduation tickets will be given out to students. So I know, Ms. Schember, you talked about the guidelines and we're not totally sure how many at this point. Um, if you wanna go over that again. Yeah, I will let you guys know. Truthfully, right now it's looking like anywhere from two to four, depending on the guidelines. So I just, I, I can't tell you all the way quite yet. Okay. Um, another student's asking if they need to pay for a library book. Um, can we pay this, uh, pay for this at senior checkout? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you can pay bills. We actually encourage you. We encourage you to pay your fines before you come to senior checkout, but that is the, that is a great opportunity to do that as well. Okay, uh, the other student's asking if homecoming is gonna be a dance or a virtual event. There is no homecoming dance. There is just homecoming week that will have coronation of the royalty, uh, lunchtime activities for those students who are on campus, virtual activities for those who wanna participate at home, uh, the parade, the senior sunrise, the senior sunset. There's a lot of other elements, but there's no dance. Okay. Um, a student's asking if we if they pick up their cap and gown at school. Yes. Um, in terms of the time that they should come to pick them up. The times will depend on your last name. Uh, and you will be, I will send that out when it gets closer. Okay. Um, and I imagine same for a student's asking what time students have to arrive for graduation depends on their. Yeah, we're going to probably have to do a staggered arrival time for graduation and so for families and students. And so I will communicate that out when it gets a little bit closer. Okay. Um, and there are another question about graduation if uh, Delmar will give masks for graduation. Yes, we have, uh, we are ordering graduation masks for every graduate. Yes, I just wanted to say just for graduates, though, not for every yeah. comes on campus. Yeah, just for graduates. So families uh, will need to provide their own mask. Okay. Um, and then someone's asking if we can post start and end times for upcoming events. Yes, definitely. I know that they actually are, are on our website. Yeah, the starting and end times. Um, I know all the events have been uploaded to the Del Mar Master Calendar too on the website. Mm -hmm. um, a question about if students cannot make it to their assigned cap and gown time. If you can't make it to your assigned time, um, we can arrange another time for you to come pick it up. Um, typically, we allow you to come during another slot. It's just to make sure that not everybody comes to campus at the same time. Yeah. Um, and then asking if there's a calendar with all of the dates. Yes, on the Dunra website, we have our calendar of all the upcoming uh, dates and events. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, Nicole, for putting that in there. Yeah, all this information is on our website um, on this link that um, I will put it in the chat to everybody that Nicole just put. Um, and then all the dates are on our website as well on the calendar on the website. Yes, and the, these slides that we're going over today and these webinars are also posted on the website. If you put your, I see this question here, if you put your home address for the cap and gown, that's okay. They all get shipped here. So um, the home address is for things like if you ordered announcements, class rings, all that kind of stuff, but everybody's cap and gown got sent here. Uh, this question, do you need to bring your own mask for safety? If you're, if you're more comfortable, if you're like me and you like to wear your own mask, which that's totally fine, you can wear your own mask. We will provide graduation masks if you want to wear it, but you're welcome to wear your own. Yes, Mr. Lopez. 
But for other events besides graduation, definitely come to anytime you're coming to campus, wear a mask, bring a mask. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah, but for graduation specifically, uh, if you don't want to wear the one that we ordered for you, you don't have to. It's just kind of like if you like to be on theme and have like a matching situation, it's totally available, but you don't have to. Yay. Um, um, how the graduation, uh, the graduation masks are free. You do not need to pay for them. And they're just black. And then in the corner, they have a block DM and they say 2021 underneath. They're very minimal. Cute. You do not need to get tested for graduation uh, that I know of, Mr. Lopez. I don't know if you know a different no, answer. Not at this point. Yeah, again, that, that might be something that changes, um, but you know, uh, as of right now, no. I can answer the construction question. We are going to have construction. Um, the kitchen's probably not going to be done for another few weeks. And then the administrative building, it, we are not going to have that and the library done until early, middle of next uh, year. So 2022, probably March, April sometime. Uh, so construction is going to be our reality for a little while. So there's a question about uh, what time they'll need to pick up their cap and gown. That will be messaged out to students what time they're going to be coming uh, for May 28th to pick up their cap and gown. This Sorry. is a good opportunity for me to remind seniors to check your email all the time. And your remind messages. And your remind messages and like any place where people from the school can get in touch with you, you need to read that all the time because we send these things to every communication channel in hopes that you will find it one place. Yeah. So our next event will be um, Wednesday, May 19th. So we will see everybody very soon. Um, but thank you all for coming today. Yay. Email us if you have questions, everybody. All right. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye, everyone.